Okay, our Discovery 4 is making a vile noise. Um, somewhere coming from the front, if you want to start it up in. idler bearing, that idler bearing was really jittering about, yes, yeah, so if you want to come and give me hand in, we'll have a look. So we've got a couple of weird things, we've taken just the top cowling off and had a little peek in here. Um, one thing we noticed straight away is if you look at the drive belt, can you see there's like a brownie red line on the, the front of it, that's it. If you, so it's black but then on that front edge there it's, it's sort of got a reddy tinge to it. Um, and then if you look at the belt position, where am I best going to see this from? And down in, down in there, you can see that the belt is overhanging. Can you get your finger in under there, Ian? And show that the belt is actually half off the... the put your finger in behind the belt, because there's a, the belt's overhanging on this front edge, this front edge. Yeah, it's under there. And then we've noticed there's like loads of red dust everywhere. So the front of that idler pulley there has got some red dust on it. I don't know if you can see that. And then the other thing that's got, yeah, there's red dust yeah, all around, oh, there we go, yeah. There's red dust all around, all around here on the front of this pulley here. Um, it's getting, over the fan. Know, fan. Yeah, on the inside of the fan, yeah. See, on the inside of this, oh, we've got it here. On the inside of this fan here, can you see that on the camera? Yeah. Um, and I think that bearing's collapsed, so we're going to, we're going to get the uh, tools out and whip this fan off here. Um, we'll show you how to do that. And then we'll have a look what that idler bearing's like, but I reckon he's, I reckon he's not well. So we've just done in this first part of this video how, showing you the problem we think we've got. And now we'll show you how to change the tensioner, um, hoping that is the problem. So if you want to remove that engine cover, this was already removed in the first part of the video, just so you could see the problem. So that lifts off, put the oil cap back on. Right, and there's this shroud. Now our shroud has been held on with some cable ties, but it looks like it should have some clips at the bottom. We haven't quite worked it out. It looks like our clips are broken. Yeah, your probably clips will break. And then you've got... The de oh, let me come around this side. There is a, a wire. A wire and a hose there. Uh, that are clipped that in. Just, I'll bring that out. Yeah, bring that out and we'll have a little look seat. I'll come around this side. Oh, yeah. Yeah, just on those yeah. little C clips yeah. that just spring loaded. Yeah. Just pull them. Pull those out. And we think these probably some clips that are snapped off on ours I actually. Think it's meant to it meant to be that oh, yeah, yeah. clip in. So you need to unclip that. And that gives you a little bit more access. Yeah. Right, now Ian's loosened a lot of these things to make the video quicker, but we'll explain um, what we're doing. So what we gonna... we, I don't think you need to take any more out, but we're gonna just move this pipe so that we can remove that one. Yeah. Just to give us a bit more light and room. This, room with the span. So for this one, it's just a normal jubilee screw, clip, yeah. and then there's also a pipe down there that will allow you just to lift that right up out of the way. Room. Yeah. And then two more jubilees, one at each end of this rubber hose, and that should just that one's that intercooler hose, that one. Yeah. So this is all just air intake piping, so you shouldn't have any fluids or anything yeah. like that. Yeah. Yeah. Chuck that down. Yeah, we're going to try not to touch because this side's all radiator. Right, okay. Um, so we're not going to try not to touch that. And this pipe will clip in and you can just give it a pinch and a pull up and it will pop up a little bit. Just to give us a bit more room. And it just means we can get some extra hand access, access down either down side there. there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There, then. Right, then we've got to get the viscous fan off. So you need these, these tools. We do. We do sell these tools. We'll put a link if you want to buy those in the bit below. We've had these laser cut in the UK locally. I don't know if you can see that, but there's three bolts on this pulley here. Yeah. Yep, 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 yep. We've got the three, three bolts. bolts. Yep. Yeah, I've got the three bolts. Put the light in the right oh, place. Hold on, it's the light in the right place is the key. Yeah. Yeah, be able to, oh yeah, oh, that, one the, on, on. Yeah. that one holds it. Holds it, right. And at the same time, so you hold that with one hand. Yeah. You then just slot the Can have a spanner, spanner on. on. So it so the first one's holding those little bolt heads. And then, and then yeah, I've on. already loosened this, but it will take a good sharp twist against each other and it's opposite thread. 
Right. On this span. So it's clockwise as we so look at So your spanner goes clockwise. To, to the right. Right, so let's get this off. Stand at the front here. So, so you're holding that, that one. one. On. That one goes on. And then you twist that And you way. twist it that way. So the spanner's going that way to loosen. Right, got it. Yep. And then as soon as you crack that one off, we should better just spin that. Can you spin the whole fan, will it? That's Can you rotate the fan? Yeah, spin the fan, yeah. Spin the fan, yeah. And then it's going to fall off at some point, we reckon. We hope. Have a little look, see at that. It's going a bit, isn't it? Is it getting sticky? It turns once for every twice you spin the fan, I reckon. Oh, no, it's stopped. You need to be in the hands of a small child. Or a long spanner. Right, there he goes. Alright, how heavy is he? Too heavy, but we we've, got, we've got to be careful with the radiator. I'll try and find somewhere. Can you tuck it in out of the way? Because we only need to get to that tension, don't we? I don't want you to damage my fins on the radiator, but. Do you want to put a bit of card in there, or are you just going to try and rest in there? We'll grab a bit of card and we'll just pop it in there out of the way. Pop it in there. It doesn't look like there's a whole lot of room for it to, to come to out. out. Not without taking this top Let's shroud off. off. It sounds like a. Um, or could you use one of those little cable tie holes and just whack a cable tie in those holes he put in? There? Right, we'll have a look how to jam we'll, we'll, that, we'll out, the that way. out the way. Um, then we'll come back. We'll come back. Okay, we make this up as we go along. We just come up with a little plan, we reckon. So, this little funny little air boxy thing. There you go. Right there. Ribbed. But extra. Now we better not say that. There's that little pin there Ian's taken out. So, there's a little. Wire clip. So you leave underneath there, right. and then just point him out, it spread out. it out. There you go. Right, and then there's a little sneaky little bolt. We coloured it in orange there. So just have a look at that one there. Yeah, we'll get out your way then, Ian. You can get orange paint all over your fingers now. Yep. Right now that. Yep, yeah, there he is. He's a long old bolt. We put him over there. Right, and then this little thing here just flips. We should be able to flip it off. Right, just flip him on his belly. We'll leave all the plugs connected. Flip him out of the way there. Right, and then... Now, it's still, there's still a wire attached or something to that fan, is there? Look, can we move it over? You've got a big cable. Big girt cable there. Is there a connector on it? There it is. What hat you're modelling today in? Must be getting winter. Beanies out. Trees are turning. Right. So yeah, there's a big cable going into it. We're just trying to find the end too. Right, we've got there's, that. There's the plug. So it sits that orientation. Mm -hmm. And you just press that. Press that in. There. Where's he? Down in the depths of there somewhere. Is there any cable ties or clips rooting the cable? Or? No. I'll show you. There you go. Look at that. So it sits on this little dock. You can see those channels okay, there. Yeah, yeah. And it slots uh, sit in. into the cowling. Slots yeah, into the cowling. The cowling. And then, the, and then yeah. that's where your, your clip goes, clip goes in. It's on. There you go. That's, that's that. We'll give that a clean. Put that that's better. Now, 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 well, now look at it. We've got loads of room in there. Can we see any this more? Is our, our suspect, suspect bearing. So we've got to release the tension on the belt and release the belt first, I reckon. So we need 3 8 drive, is it? Yeah, because that, that 3 8 drive goes in that tensioner down there. Yeah, that's it. We did that. Uh, let me see if I can get a little look see. Yeah. Oh, nearly there. Oh, where's the light? Yeah, go on, that's it. We're on you. Yeah. That's right, and then you... That's it. You can lean that over. I got the I light. I feel that scraping. Oh, really? Is yeah. that like, ah! Right, do you want me to do the belt? Have you got enough fingers to release the belt? I'm 
Not doing much down there. Don't trap those little pinkies. It's finding somewhere that we can actually to slide it off from. Uh, I can hold that. Do you want me to hold that? Yeah, let me give, give me that. I, I'm in a good position to hold the tension. If you give me it. Oh, he says he's let it go. Yeah, it won't go all the way around. Uh, hold on. No, I got it. <laughs> yeah, spin it back up again for me. All right. Get it to a good position. I can hold it. Right. I, right. Uh, go on then. Which boat are we going off of? Any of the pulleys, you, want, you don't want one where it's... You don't want a... Bit you want... There we go. You got it? Yep. So you want you want to take it off one of the smooth pulleys, don't you? Yeah, so I've taken it off this one up here just because it was what I could get to. Okay. If you can see that. Yeah. The smooth yeah, you want in. a smooth pulley, yeah, yeah, and then pull it off, right? And you just got to trace it gonna... all back round. And a good idea would be to know which way it goes round all of these pulleys. Maybe a diagram somewhere. Alright, let's have a look at that belt and then we're going to have a look at the pulley. Was he tight at the bottom there? It's got a genuine belt. It's on that. Gosh, it's tight on that bottom. <laughs> Is this getting a tedious video now? Right, then let's have a look. So there's the belt. So what I was saying earlier was it's got this sort of red edge to it here. Um, the belt itself looks fine. Um, so this is the 3 litre TDV6, if I haven't already said. Um, it's got the part number on the belt and it's a genuine belt. I'm looking for it. So look, it's a genuine land of a belt and it's a 6PK2102. So 6 peaks is the number of ridges it's got here. And the 2102 is the length of the belt from start to finish in millimetres, I believe. Right, so we're going to get off that. So how many bolts? We're going to get off the tensioner, which is this little unit here, and see how we've got one bolt in the centre of that. What size is that? Inch? Oh, yeah, that's... Oh, this is a corker. That's 15 millimetres. 15. Oh, we've got to see this. We've got to see this. On you. Let's just say that our Discovery 4 that we uh, we bought cheap here has done 200,000 miles, so for you kilometre, that's nearly 300,000 kilometres, isn't it? A third of a million kilometres. I'm going to say this is what was causing our problem. You think this could be contributing to it significantly, do you? <laughs> right, let's have a look, let's have a look. Go on, give us yes. a... Oh, I was even on there. The reason Whoa. it was on there Whoa. is because it was rattling about. It's been rubbing against the block, and that's what stopped it oh. falling off. Look. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah! He couldn't, he couldn't go. Oh, that's worn a really Royal deep groove. Get into the groove, babe, because you've got to prove that is fierce, isn't it? Look at that. Yeah. There we go. So yeah, I don't know if you can see that on the on the video down there, but it's worn a. A groove, see that groove there. How this hasn't been making noise before this week? Yeah, it's beyond me. That is. How long have we had this now? We've had this a few months. We've had this a few months, and it's worn flat. Flat. There, there we that go. Was. That is monster failure. Maybe we got it cheap because it's making. It. Oh, there we go. Um, we're gonna have a look at fixing this, and we'll show you how to put it back together and what one should look like. So here's our broken one that we took off yesterday. I think we've shown you that, and what it's supposed to look like is actually. It's actually this one where the, the belt goes round. So the bearing is, as you can see, completely gone from the middle of there somewhere. Um, little side note, this is for the 3 litre TDV6. This one is for the 2.7 litre TDV6. And can you see those? the width of that there on the 3 litre is thinner than on the 2.7 litre. Other than that, they seem exactly the same. And why are they thicker, or thinner, thicker? The 2.7 had a belt, which is a 8 PK, so it's got eight ridges here, and it's 2092, so that's that one. And our three litre one has got the thinner belt, and unsurprisingly, it's which way round are we? It's got a six PK, so it's it's only got six peaks. So they've gone for a thinner belt, and it's a slightly different length as well, two one zero three. So 
We are going to put a new belt on. We are going to put a new tensioner on. So it goes that way, facing the engine. Okay, look, can we have a look at that? Ian's going to put the light on. There's the... Oh, I don't know. I'm going to leave the bolt in it just to give me a bit more clearance. So we can see the two little. You can see the mark from where it was rubbing. Yeah, you can see the mark from where it was. Alright, now do those, have I got that? Let me get that bolt in first. Right, and then I can. Oh, that seems to be. Does that look like That's it's heating? Yep. Show that on the other one. Yeah. So it's just locating these two little tabs, which dock in and give you this, the give holes. you the spring. Right. What we'll do is we'll tighten that up. So I'll just show, and let's just have a look. We'll tighten that up, and we'll show you the belt. We'll have a look if we can pull up a diagram on the computer, shall we? Just to show people how the how the belt goes. But that then it should be spring loaded, um, and we'll get the thing in it. So we'll leave, we'll leave you there. I think you get most of the idea, and we'll come back when that's on and see what that sounds like. So we'll we'll just thread the belt through and tighten that. So up. we found this handy picture on the internet that shows the belt route in. So yeah, over the top pulley, under this one here, round, round there, back over there, round there, and then round the tensioner. And then round the alternator. So if you do all that, oh, 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 there's my fan, so I've cleaned my fan. One thing about doing the repairs yourself is you can clean the bits before you put them back together, which garages don't have time to do. I'm not disrespecting garages. Um, so there we go. So when it's all done, let me just kind of sneak in here. Um, that's what it all looks like. So we're all back together. There's our new tensioner. And when we rerouted the belt, we just left that small one there as a land. Yeah, that was, yeah. So we just did that little small, hold on, where, where are we? We did that little small one there, and he so was... we got it all on, then you just release the tension on your tensioner. Yeah. Move that, and then... And that was it, it, was, it wasn't well. too bad. It, ideally two people. Um, takes quite a bit of effort on those tensioners. We're going to put the fan back in, there he is. We're going to put it all back together, and then we'll come back and hear how sweet this bad boy sounds when that's all done. Okay, so we're all back together. We haven't just put we haven't put the top cowling on and we haven't put the cover on here, but let's have a look. We're back together. Like gone on in. Let's see what this Oh. Oh That sounds sounds like a newborn baby purring. Yep, excellent. So there we go. That's the job done. 